Hey church, it's so great to connect with you all today. My name is Chris Winrow, and alongside my wife Hannah, we are the Audacious Online Pastors, and we lead the online small groups. Today I'm going to speak about my miracle, but before I do that, I want to remind you all of the parable of the sower, reading from NIV, Luke 8, chapter, uh, verse 5. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up with it and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than what was sown. The miracle I'm going to speak about actually happened to me before I acknowledged myself as a Christian. It was at uh, the time when I was like the seeds landing on the path. The word of God was taken from my heart and I was not saved. I was on the second day of ascending Mont Blanc. Uh, for reference, anyone who knows the area, my dad and I had set off from uh, the Tete Russe. We'd slept there overnight and set off in near total darkness to go up the next 700 meters to Ghouta. In hindsight, we were underprepared, but we were in very good spirits. Uh, we were the last ones to set off from this base camp and we believed it couldn't be easier than to follow other people uh, and a well-used path but we were wrong. Uh, roughly one hour into the walk, we were stranded on a cliff face. We had um, loose stones underfoot and a sinking feeling of what lay behind us, uh, a drop of several hundred meters into the night. As we edged further, hoping to find a trace of a path, it only became worse until suddenly I froze up with my hand clasping on for life to a rock in front of my face, uh, unable to move any further. Suddenly there was somebody else there, somebody else who called out to us, who lit his uh, head torch onto the path and showed us a way. He um, reached out his hand, but I can't remember him actually saying any words other than a feeling of being called back over to the right way. By the time we'd actually made it to the path, he was already long gone, practically leaping up this rock face ahead of us. Uh, I believe that only God could create such a metaphor, that I was walking the wrong path, that the way I was heading was only leading to peril and destruction. But we know, no matter how far we go, that God is always reaching out for us. He, um, he reaches out his hand and he saves. At the time, now I think I was uh, too simplistic over this. I remember looking for the, the man that was there and trying to find somebody to thank, but never came across anybody. Now, when I think back over this, it serves as a reminder. If such a miracle can take place in my life and I can overlook it, how many more have I missed? How many more obstacles are removed from my path day by day? Lord, I want to thank you for the countless blessings you've set in my life. I pray that as a church, we can see the miracles that you put in all of our lives, that we can receive your word and see your hundredfold yield. I pray that we see healing physically and mentally in our church. I will pray that we see miraculous interventions where lives will be saved. I ask for you to restore relationships and continue to light our way. Amen. I bless you all and hope to see you again soon.